Former U.S. Marine Trevor Reed coming home to the U.S. after nearly three years in Russian prisons and months of diplomacy, Reed was exchanged for a Russian serving time in the U.S. for drug trafficking. Our chief global affairs correspondent Martha Raditz joins us now with how this unfolded, especially with tensions running so high over the war in Ukraine. Good morning, Martha. Ex Good morning, Robin. Exactly. Whether it was because of tensions with Russia or in spite of them, this morning, a joyful reunion. Trevor Reed is on U.S. soil in San Antonio, reunited with his Texas family after a long journey home. This morning, after 985 days, former U.S. Marine Trevor Reed, a free man after being imprisoned in Russia for nearly three years. The 30-year-old Reed, released by the Russians as part of a top-secret international prisoner swap, carried out Wednesday on a tarmac in Turkey. This video broadcast by Russian state TV showing Reed on the left walking straight past the man for whom he was traded, convicted Russian drug smuggler Konstantin Yaroshenko. Reed not looking back even once as he boarded a plane to safety. Reed's father saying his son described the swap as something straight out of a spy movie. But his parents also expressing concern over Trevor's appearance, telling World News Tonight anchor David Muir. He looked uh, horrible. It looked to me like he had two black eyes. A doctor that we have here said that that's a, a symptom of malnourishment. So it's he's he just looked terrible to us. Senior Biden administration officials say discussions with the Russians intensified over recent weeks as Reed fell ill, his health deteriorating, with fears he may have contracted tuberculosis. Our overriding priority here was the safe return of Trevor Reed, knowing that his health condition required urgent treatment. He's going to be able to not only be reunited with his family, but to receive the treatment he needed from the United States. Reed was visiting his girlfriend in Moscow in 2019 when he was arrested after a night of heavy drinking. The Russians allege he started a fight and assaulted a police officer. But Reed and the U.S. government denied those claims calling them fabricated. And video evidence showed the incident, as described by the Russians, never happened. Reed was sentenced to nine years in prison. The U.S. government believed he was being used as a political bargaining chip. Congress, my president, anyone in the United States, the State Department, Secretary of State, anyone who believes that they have an ability to help me, I'm asking for help now. Last summer, Reed was transferred to a remote prison colony where he spent months in solitary confinement, waging a hunger strike in protest. Reed's parents, Joey and Paula, relentless in their quest to bring him home. Joey spending a year in Russia trying to appeal Trevor's sentence. And last month, the couple meeting with President Biden in the Oval Office after demonstrating outside of the White House. In exchange for Reed, the U.S. decision to free Konstantin Yaroshenko. President Biden saying in a statement, the negotiations that allowed us to bring Trevor home required difficult decisions that I do not take lightly. Yaroshenko, a Russian pilot who was arrested 12 years ago for a drug sting, shown here on Russian state TV, boarding the plane after the swap. He had been sentenced to 20 years in a federal prison in Connecticut. Moscow lobbying to free him ever since, raising questions if Yaroshenko had ties to Russian intelligence, which has never been proven. It shows that when Russia wants something, when it deems something in their interest, they will make a deal. That's it. The Reeds believe that Trevor's deteriorating health was one reason he was released. Trevor will be treated at the U.S. military facility in San Antonio, where he will hopefully make a full recovery. The Reed family says their joy is tempered by the fact that Paul Whelan and Brittany Griner remain imprisoned in Russia. T.J.? Yeah, Martha, everybody happy that Trevor Reed is home there. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.